Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Expedition League 3.15. In this episode, we're going over the Reaper buff, and the Absolution buff, and the patch notes that was really good. Let's go. I thought about what to do for today's video, and this is what I wanted to do. So let's start it off big. Uh, here we have the patch notes, and the biggest thing to look at first is, uh, is this. Lowered the damage penalty on bleeding for the summoned reaper. Overall, this means they have approximately 114% more bleeding damage than before. What? In future, we will reevaluate the bleed, poison, and ignite damage penalty for all minions as it is currently too harsh. Okay. 114% more. And if you actually include this with the, la the other buff... When they may they fix the Reaper so that it actually uses the extra 80% uh, more damage uh, with bleeding on the skill gem. So for example, uh, when you look at the skill gem, it says here that it had um, 30 to 87% more bleeding damage. Um, this wasn't working originally. Uh, they fixed it. They patched that too. So now this is 200%. Uh, more bleeding damage uh i had said that the reaper needed 250 percent for it to be really good uh 200 percent is is fairly close to what i said uh this makes reaper playable uh probably and so do you guys want a reaper build if so uh let's get this video to a thousand likes if this video gets a thousand likes i'll make a reaper build um and then the second part of this video well, we'll go through the rest, but the Absolution was buffed 580, 588 to 882 from 408 to 612. Um, massive, massive base damage buffs to the Absolution, and it also gets 429% more damage at level 20. Uh, I did the math on this on stream. And uh, this is with three of the Sentinels up, three Absolutions shooting, not even including you shooting, just the three Absolutions. This is doing um, six to seven times more damage than Fireball. Uh, Sentinels of Absolution look insane now. They went from being meh to what the fuck. Those are huge buffs absolutely bonkers ridiculous do you guys want an absolution build let me know in the comment section below it looks pretty good now that were looks worth trying you know um okay and then to go through the rest of the patch real quick to basically sum it up is um they nerfed the goat men so this all the way down to here is just amount of goat men Goatman Leap Slam and Goatman uh, Molten Shawl Nerf. So 33% less Leap Slam damage late game and 40% less hit damage from the Molten Shawl. I had a nightmare last night where I died to a Molten Shawl Goatman by, by flame dashing into it. And I was thinking in my dream, but this is with the nerf. How the hell did I get one shot it? And then I'm like, oh, it's a dream. It's a nightmare. Wow, I can't believe that happened. But basically... Uh, I'm pretty happy that this is in the patch notes, guys. To be honest, the goat men are giving me nightmares. Please, please fix them. Thank you. They are fixed now, but god damn, I'm wounded, boys. I'm wounded. PTSD dreams. God damn. Uh, Aquamarine, 60% reduced effect of freeze. Pretty cool. Uh, instead of 40. And then they also changed all of the uh, ailments and poison um, and bleed to four seconds instead of one. This is insane. That's a huge flask buff. Uh, that kind of looks like the Sentinel of Absolution. When they give a four times buff to what they did, it's like, wow, that's um, that's massive. That's huge. Four times from one second to four and 400% more damage. What the fuck is this? Uh, that's insanity. And now grants immunity to, to Corrupted Blood. It used to only remove Corrupted Blood. So they fixed that. And uh, now you get immunity to Corrupted Blood again. So big buff to the Staunching Bleeding Flask. And they buffed all the Ailment Flasks. So now your Flasks are just better. So this patch, you should be a lot stronger now. 
Um, I'm already having an easier time surviving with the flash changes, to be honest. Uh, I've already been playing with it. And then another really big change that they made. Uh, so I mentioned the Reaper damage, but they also changed the cast time. And this is massive because I pointed out one second was a really long time on the Reaper to cast to make it do its attack. And uh, I pointed out this was during the reveal or whatever when they showed the Reaper. I said, oh, skeletons have 0.5 cast time. And here we are with a one second one which which doesn't seem very good but point five point five now this is going to be point six so point six is way closer to the point five so it'll feel like summoning skeletons uh instead of one second which is double ridiculous nerf like this is a ridiculous buff this is a huge as well um should not be discounted and then they also changed the mana cost of all the skill gems and uh and so it literally targeted every single support gem in my entire herald of purity so we lost we we decreased the mana reserve of the herald of purity by 50 percent now um yep which is literally the nerf that i had talked about in the league starter and then um it, it all yeah just every single thing and then there's a big one unbound ailments so how we will run unbound ailments with our skitter bots mana cost reduced from 140 to 120 uh because the mana is too high and we could we couldn't even run it we had to cut it out it was like running an enlighten it was insane um and so yep unbound ailments reduced by 20 is pretty big and we'll probably be trying to fit that in again in our current build because uh we we like increasing the effect of the uh skitter bots and uh yeah so if you guys want let me know if I should try the Reaper by liking the video. Let's get to a thousand likes. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in the Sentinels of Absolution. And uh, this was a really good patch. And it's uh, clear that they fucked up. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'm not going to stretch this any farther. I don't need to. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and my YouTube members. Wait. My Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon and the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!